Welcome to my channel once again. This is Daniel for D Vibes Entertainment. I have another video for you today, and today we're going to be looking at how you can transform your video from this to this. We're going to be looking at how you can actually achieve a camcorder effect in your videos, just like you've seen in that video. Okay, without further ado, we jump into our software and remember I'm using uh, Adobe 2017 but you can also use the upgraded software as you'll be able to achieve what I'm going to do. So I have two videos here. I'll first upload my original video, just drop it into the timeline. Okay, so that is my original video, so I'll just drop it a little bit down. Now I don't need the audio, so I'll just look up my footage click on the audio and delete it and then go and pick my other video now this particular video I downloaded from YouTube I have put a link just below this video in case you want to use a graphic camcorder graphic like that you can always go to that link click it and you'll be able to use that so I also don't want to use the audio here so I'll just look up the footage then delete the audio okay now when you see it is green but I am not doing a video on how to change a green background I'll be making that video at a later stage so we're going to first remove the green screen what I'll do I'll just jump into my effects and under effects I'll type in ultra key Okay, and that is the key that I'll just drag into the green video just like that then you notice this video is longer so I'll also cut it off so that it's at the same length so then I'll go into after effects look for ultra key it is right here and under key color I'll just come click this and come into my monitor and click what I'll do I'll first drag this slightly up because I'm going to be applying some other videos here and then I'll go to my first video and under my first video I'll go back to effects and search for an effect called RGB so RGB is right here I'll just drag that and put it into my footage then go into after effects look for where RGB is it is right here okay but before that I want to first make duplicates of this original video so what I'll do you just press your left hand side of the mouse ultra key and drag up to duplicate the same footage twice so you have three clips so I'll go to my first video then jump into after effects go to RGB and under RGB I'll take the blue to a hundred okay and then the green will go down to zero and the red will take it down to zero then I'll go to my second video again go back to after effects look for RGB this time around I'll take the blue to zero leave the green in a hundred and the red to zero now what changes here is the blend mode I'll take this and click screen okay then I'll go to my other video click on it then again go to effects control look for RGB which is here take the blue to zero take the green to zero and leave the red in 100 again you go to blend mode and change this and click screen so we have something like this now under the same video here I'll go to scale just to create a bit of effect so I'll go to scale and increase this to say around to say around 102 depending on depending on your type of footage okay the next step we're going to do is we shall jump jump back to our project and just below here we shall go to new item and then put an adjustment layer click it will bring you these settings just say okay 
and immediately it will come into the input box which is here so I'll drag this and drop it on top of my clips and then also stretch it now under the adjustment layer I'm going to jump back into my effects and under effects this time around I look for noise okay so when you scroll down here you should be seeing the effect noise so I'll grab this and drop it into the adjustment layer just like that now of course you don't see the effect yet it is until you go down to effects control look for noise and the amount of noise is what you have to work with so I can increase this depending on the quality of your footage okay so I will increase this to say 25 percent okay so that is done the next step I want to do I'll just pull this because I want to add another layer in my timeline so I'll just drag my camcorder effect up and then jump back into my effects my project sorry and then again under new item I'll click that then go to transparent video I'll click that bring you these settings just say okay and immediately it will come into your input box which is here so I'll drag this again and put it on top of the adjustment layer and just drag this so that it's at the same length with my other videos again I'll jump into my effects and search for grid so I'll just drag this grid and drop it into the transparent layer I'll go to effects control look for where grid is so under the anchor I'll put this under zero size from click this and give it width and height slides okay and then I'll come to the width I'll give the width a 4000 enter and then I'll give the height around 10 and I'll give our borders around 5.5 then I'll come down here on color click on color and select black and click ok ok after selecting black as you can see we've got the black lines so I'll go down to opacity and give this opacity around a 50 percent so something like this so as you can see we've already created kind of an effect in our video okay so how good is that well I hope this video was helpful to you now remember if you watching my video for the very first time just subscribe or give me a thumbs up if you love this video you can also go down in the comment section and request for a video that you want me to do you can also go down to the comment section and tell me the part that you didn't understand very well I'll be able to explain to you in the comment section so that's it from me to you I see you in the next video